I wrote something on my website a few months ago about things I wish I'd known when I started the business. Because because to explain, I, I left newspapers. Um, I was on the News of the World when it closed in 2011. And I moved from newspapers at that point into the betting industry and spent about five years there. And while I was there, set up my consultancy and long story cut short, had a great time, met some great people, um, left that particular contract and relaunched as a copywriter because it was the obvious thing to do. Because all the work that I'd been doing in most recent times there was to do with words. Because so many people were saying, can you do this? Can you write that? And it was the, just the obvious step for me to take. But at the same time, there are, there are things I wish I'd known. And there's, it's, it's a sort of, a, a, I won't go on too long about this, but there's, there's like t- 10 top tips. And the first five are the five behaviours that you need, um, I would suggest, if you're going to go into business. And one is you've got to be brave. You've got to be resilient. You've got to be agile. You've got to be visionary. And you've got to be energetic. And that spells out B R A V E. You know, you've got to be brave because it is it is a challenge. And like I said earlier, I, I have unlimited respect for anybody who takes on that challenge and makes a success of it. Um, the next three out of the top ten are three questions, and three questions you have to answer with absolute forensic honesty. And you have to ask yourself: number one, do people want what you're selling? Uh, I, I, I'm a bit of a history buff, and I was reading novels about the Hundred Years' War when the longbow was the weapon of choice. Now, if you were making longbows in the middle of the 14th century, <laughs> you were the bomb.com and everyone was going to be coming to you. If you rocked up at an arms fair in 2020 with a table full of longbows, you're not going to see dollar one. So, therefore, before you go into business, have some conversations with people and say, is this something people want? And I, I, I was when I was setting up as a copywriter, I was convinced and I remain convinced that there is a great demand for copywriting and getting a message across as well as it can be. Um, the second question, uh, this again, you've got to be honest, are you good at what you do? I, do you excel at it? Because if, again, using the example of a copywriter, if it takes you half an hour to write a sentence and there's three spelling mistakes in it, you're probably not going to be a copywriter. And the third question is, and this is probably the most important of a lot, do you love what you do? Because even if you do love it, there are going to be days. I mean, there's times I'm sat there at quarter past 11 at night finishing off a piece of copy. And I know I've got to get up at five o'clock in the morning to go networking. And you think, this is, this is a heck of a long day. And that's something I love. Now, imagine if it was something I didn't love doing. That would be unbearable. So it's important to get the answers to those three questions. And the other two things I would suggest, the last two of the top 10 tips. Um, number one, make sure you have your website up and running and optimized because I didn't. I started as a copywriter without a website and it took me a long time to get it in the shape and optimized as I wanted and needed it to. And the final one is have your T's and C's in place. So when you start work with a new client, send them a, send them your terms of of business send them a written costing because I would say over the last three years 95% of the people I've dealt with have been brilliant and they've been honorable and they've been great to deal with but actually more like 97 98 percent but occasionally you come across someone who doesn't pay up and if you've got something in place which they've agreed to and you can just say right cough up you you signed this or you agreed to this then you have some legal recourse and people tend to pay up at that point. Um, and I, I can't believe I went into business without that. So those, those are the sorts of the, the general pieces of advice. And I do get asked occasionally, you know, about what it takes to go into business. So those, that, those are the top 10 tips.